Non-fungible tokens simply known as NFT are becoming increasingly popular and receiving a lot of hype lately. In March 2021, Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, sold his first ever tweet as an NFT for $2.9 million. The tweet was bought by Sina Estaudi, a Malaysian-based CEO of a blockchain company called Bridge Oracle. In today's video, we will go over the top NFT marketplaces that are currently available. Kindly like this video, leave a comment, share with friends and also make sure to hit the subscribe button before we continue with these reviews. Thank you. Also, make sure to check the links in the description below to access the marketplaces. If you would like to hire a freelancer for any NFT service, from unique NFT design to website, marketplaces or smart contracts creation, you can check out Fiverr.com. Use the link in the description below to access the best NFT artists to assist with your next project. NFTs are traded on NFT marketplaces, which enables their users to buy, sell, and trade digital collectibles. These marketplaces seek to ensure that NFTs are not easily available by making room for scarcity in order to maintain the value of NFTs. These platforms leverage blockchain technology to prove the authenticity of digital collectibles in order to ensure that a given digital asset is indeed an original and not a replica. Without further ado, here are the best NFT marketplaces for trading your digital assets. Number 5. Binance NFT The Binance NFT marketplace was launched on the 24th of June 2021. It offers a platform for digital creators to trade a variety of digital artworks and collectibles. It is powered by Binance's infrastructure, blockchain, and community. Binance leverages on its ecosystem, which consists of a large community of users, including big-name artists. It provides a simple and less complicated process for creating NFTs, and they are distinctly categorized into premium, art, sports, entertainment, gaming, collectibles, and esports. Each category only supports NFTs related to it. For instance, the sports category supports only sports NFTs. On Binance NFTs can either be sold on auction or at fixed prices by users. Binance implements a two-factor authentication security system. This is to ensure the safety of its users' transactions on the platform. The Binance Marketplace is free to use. You only need to create a free Binance account to utilize this NFT marketplace. Binance Marketplace also has some of the lowest charges for minting NFTs. Number 4. Super Rare Super Rare was founded by Charles Crane, John Crane, and Jonathan Perkins in 2017. Super Rare is an art-focused NFT marketplace where users can trade curated NFTs from a selected group of handpicked artists. The Super Rare platform is quite easy to use and bridges the gap between real-world art galleries and NFT platforms. It is specifically dedicated to the collection of art NFTs and does not support any other kind of digital items. If your interest is in art NFTs alone, then Super Rare is a good place to start. Super Rare only runs on the blockchain network and supports only three major Ethereum wallets which include MetaMask, Ferdmatic, and Wallet Connect. Its fees are slightly higher than that of other NFT marketplaces, but its commission is slightly lower than that of a traditional art gallery. Buyers pay a 3% fee on all purchases, the gallery receives a 15% commission on the first sale, while artists receive a 10% royalty payment for subsequent sales. Super Rare vets every artist that appears on the platform and accepts a limited number of creators. By doing so, users are faced with fewer possibilities of getting scammed by con artists into buying fraudulent pieces of work. Number 3. Minable Minable is a US-focused NFT marketplace built on the Ethereum and Zilliqa blockchain platforms. Minable was launched in 2018 by Zach Brooks with the intention to make it easier for beginners to trade NFTs. One of the core objectives of Mintable is to provide simplicity and a user-friendly experience for its users. If you are a US-based beginner in the NFT space, Mintable is a good platform to start with. One great thing about Mintable is that it provides flexibility for its users, especially when it comes to the ownership of NFTs. It's also one of the few NFT marketplaces that allow its users to have full ownership of their NFTs as well as the smart contracts on which they exist. Minable offers you the option to choose between gasless and traditional minting. The gasless minting with Immutable X allows you to mine NFTs without paying any fees. Minable also supports batch minting, 
which allows users to create more than one NFT with a single transaction. Number 2. Rarible Rarible is an Ethereum-based platform that facilitates the creation, sale, and purchase of ownership rights to digital works of art via non-fungible tokens. This marketplace was founded by Alex Salmikov in 2020. Rarible has grown to become one of the leading NFT marketplaces with a user base of 1.6 million users. Rarible makes use of two NFT tokens, ERC721, which allows for the creation of one-off unique items in ERC. 1155, which allows for the creation of multiple editions of an item. Rarible is also one of the NFT marketplaces that provides its users voting rights through its Rarible native token to vote for or against proposals that affect the platform. Rarible, like some of the marketplace, is integrated with OpenSea NFT Marketplace, which means that you can view and manage your NFTs on the OpenSea Marketplace, in addition to selling them on OpenSea for ETH or RARIT. Rarible allows its users to change the price of an already created collectible at any time they desire, with no charges involved. Payments can be made with a debit card, credit card or Google Pay, besides an ETH wallet. You are also allowed to connect existing wallets, provided it's any of the following. Coinbase, MindEther Wallet, Taurus, Portis, Wallet Connect, or Firmatic. Number 1. OpenSea OpenSea is the world's first and largest NFT marketplace. Devin Finzer and Alex Itella launched OpenSea Beta in December 2017, which became the first open marketplace for any non-fungible token on the Ethereum blockchain. OpenSea is a decentralized marketplace that allows users to buy and sell non-fungible tokens. The NFT marketplace initially began as a market for CryptoKitties, but has expanded beyond collectibles. It is currently a marketplace for a wide variety of digital assets, including art, domain names, game items, and music. OpenSea is built on the Ethereum network, and it is important you have an Ethereum wallet to enable you to buy and sell NFTs on the platform. However, it supports a wide variety of other crypto wallets and blockchains as well. OpenSea currently offers users the opportunity to mint for free, but users are required to pay a fee of 2.5% in the sale of their NFT. OpenSea supports a large variety of NFT collectibles, and no gas fee is required to mint NFTs. OpenSea also provides users the opportunity to gift NFTs between themselves. When it comes to trading NFTs, OpenSea is without a doubt the first choice. It is the first and largest NFT marketplace, as well as one of the most liquid. Conclusion Before choosing an NFT marketplace, there are certain factors you should put into consideration. After deciding on which digital assets and collectibles you want to trade on, find out the type of digital tokens supported on a marketplace. While some support a wide variety of tokens, others don't. Also choosing a marketplace that offers ease of use is important. Check to see the type of security system the marketplace has in place and check to see if it has had issues in the past. As the hype for NFTs continues to surge, more NFT marketplaces will continually spring up with a number of them being fake. It is important to do the necessary research in order to make informed decisions on a marketplace. If you enjoyed this review, kindly like this video, leave a comment, share with friends, and also hit the subscribe button for future videos and updates. Thank you.